friends welcome to my channel and this is new playlist uh, which i am going to start today and the playlist name is uh, mastering hyper v windows server so as you can understand with the name of playlist in this playlist we are going to focus on completely on hyper v technology how how uh, how you can do the administration of hyper v how you can do the installation and configuration and all the advanced tasks related to hyper v so if you want to become a hyper v administrator or if you want to become a champ in hyper v uh, hyper v uh, technology then this is playlist for you so in this video i'm going to discuss everything in detail so this is first part of the video so in this video we are going to make our basic understanding about the hyper v what are the virtualization platform we have what are the virtualization type we have or uh, uh, and what are the hyper uh, what is hypervisor what is the uh, type of hypervisor and all those things in detail so in this first video we are going to start with the uh, introduction or you can say basic understanding about the hyper v and virtualization platform so in short what is if you discuss what is hypervisor hypervisor is a nothing it's a uh, basically a, a simpler platform which provides you to uh, fl a facility to run your uh, virtual machines on top of your single hard, uh, single physical machine so if you see here um, this is the hardware if i talk about hardware this is nothing uh, you can consider it as your desktop laptop or you can consider it as a uh, servers so on your hardware basically physical machine you are installing hyper v on top of your hyper v you can run multiple virtual machines like vm1 vm2 vm3 and so on as as per your uh, physical compute capacity or uh, disk capacity of the, your machines so on top of your virtual machine you can run the uh, your application so first thing why you need a uh, hyper v so there's a ad other products also in the market you can consider uh, uh, vmware vsxi infrastructure is there vmware is completely focused on the basically on the virtualization platform and uh, creating the ecosystem for your you know enterprise uh, organizations to run everything from end to end on virtualization platform also they are providing a lot of other things so yes my, this is again a microsoft uh, ecosystem if you want to be on microsoft ecosystem then hyper v is a, one of the best thing which you can do related to your virtualization infrastructure so so we are going to discuss everything in detail so the basic idea you got a physical machines or server or desktop or laptop and on top of that you can install a hyper v and then you can run a virtual uh, 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 a number of virtual machines or you can say virtual server as per your requirement so if you want to become a hyper v administrator or hyper v uh, champ this is the playlist for you I'm trying, I'm going to try to create a video, at least 20 video in this series and covering each uh, small things and uh, small small things like how to play around with disk, how to play around with the networks, how to play around with the disk or compute configuration on the VMs. And also I'm going to show you how to do configuration for replication, how to do live migrations, how to do clustering, how to do, you know, extended replication, uh, replica for, uh, for hyper v and those all things so everything i'm going to cover so stay tuned if you want to become a hyper v champ this is the place where you have to do all the all the hands-on lab so i also recommend go ahead and follow me with all the videos so you you don't uh, basically do only you know kind of uh, what you can do theory and lab based i recommend go and create such environment in your hardware uh maybe you have a laptop or desktop you can configure these machines there and you can follow me way, uh, along with the, you know playlist so let's start with the very first question which is what is hypervisor so if you see here a hypervisor is a computer software that allow you allow server hardware to create and run virtual machines so basically if you have a server if you have one physical server and you want to dedicate let's say if you want to run that physical server for a hr application then your physical machine is complete physical machine is going to be occupied for that particular hr application but if you have if you procure a good configuration hardware and if you install a hypervisor on that machine and you can create a multiple virtual machines basically on top of that 
and you can run maybe your accounting application on one machine, your HR application on one machine, a file server on one machine, or print server on one machine. So this is the benefit what you can create a, 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 a multiple virtual machine, and you can run multiple servers from one physical server. So this is the computer software basically allow you to run it and create them in multiple servers or you can say virtual machines so hypervisor allow us to create a virtualization layer that separates cpu memory ram cpu processor memory and other physical resources to virtual machine to create an so definitely if you have a let's say uh, 64 gig of memory you can break that memory in multiple parts like 8, 8 gig memory and you can assign to your physical machine so same thing i'm going to also do here if you see my machine i got uh, 128 gig of memory on my machine so i'll i'll create multiple machines so you will get the you know uh, understanding how we can do uh, this is what we are going to do so basically your physical virtual machines are going to consume your physical resource which is available on your physical server and then they are going to run all the processes so there are basically two type of hypervisor type one type two so if you see here type one is a basically bare metal this is for the type one is basically for production infrastructure like if you are running uh, if you want to use hypervisor in your organization then type one is what you are going to do and type two basically if you want to set up a small company if you have a small office and you want to do some hands-on lab or training then you can go with the type 2 hardware uh, type 2 uh, hypervisor why why is that so first hardware type 1 uh, uh, hypervisor directly runs on your hardware and then you can uh, you have a hardware you deploy a hypervisor and then you create a virtual machine same uh, and uh, in, if you discuss about a type 2 type 2 requires a hardware on top of that you require the operating system to be installed then uh, your uh, C uh, process, uh, then your hypervisor, and then you create a machine. So if you see here, type two uh, type two hypervisor have VMware proxy session, virtual box, and Microsoft virtual PC, and others. There are a lot of uh, type two hypervisor you can get. You there's a from Red Hat you can get Oracle virtual boxes there and all. So if you discuss about type one, these are the some famous uh, or you can say. Natively type one hypervisor, which is VMware ASXi, Microsoft Hyper-V, and Citrix N7. So this is basically a, a difference between uh, what is the hypervisor and uh, type of hypervisors. So type one recommended for production, type two recommended for uh, not recommended for production. You can do a small office, or you can uh, do a hands-on lab, or you can you want to practice something on your laptop, desktop. You can install type two. And in this video, I'm I'm going to use a VMware workstation, which is again my type two hypervisor. So I have installed it. So if I show you, here is the VMware. If you see workstation, I have installed. So this is again a type two hypervisor. So I will discuss in detail on this. So next type of hypervisor, more more details I have discussed here. So if you want, you can run through this so uh, simply type one is a best bare metal or native you can say type two is a hosted which runs on operating system so if you see virtualization hardware virtualization this does os virtualization this is main difference so this uh, type one does directly hardware virtualization this does the os virtualization and definition definition you can say run directly on the system with the vms running on them runs on the uh, conversion operating system so operations guest operating system application run on the hypervisor run on application on the gear so scalability better scalability type 2 is not very scalable or uh, be, because it's running on a um, limited tech kind of uh, hardware and then setup simple as long as you have a necessary hardware support uh, and this is you already have operating system you can do simpler setup this is the uh, type 2 is again going to be very simple because you just need to install application and this is natively you need to boot the machine and to install the Hyper-V or ESXi host and all. System dependency had direct access to hardware along with virtual machine it hosted uh, are not allowed to directly access the host hardware and its resources. So here type 2 it does not directly access your physical infrastructure it's, it access your hard OS 
and then it's whatever hosted on OS, it uh, it is going to use the hardware, basically. So that's why this is speed is slow. If you see speed faster because it directly access your hardware is slow because the system dependency and performance, high performance as no mid middle layer. Here you have an operating system as a middle layer, so it's uh, does the you know uh, kind of you can say over overload overhead and security more secure and this is less secure because it's run on operating system. So example, same thing, VMware, Microsoft, Hyper-V, Zen Server, and, and Sun Virtual. So these are the two major difference. So if you want to understand what is difference, what is Hyper-V, so you need to understand these two slides, that's all. So now let's move, what is advantage of hypervisors? So first thing is cost. So virtualized compute infrastructure, if you see here, uh, uh, you can configure virtual CPU requirement based on your need. And there are a lot of, you know, uh, <clears throat> quick we can do uh, to, you know, uh, optimize the compute as per your requirement, which is again going to give you some benefit uh, on the cost side. So this is uh, virtualized compute infrastructure is always going to be a beneficial on top of physical. And disaster recovery and backup due to virtual machine being uh, underlying physical hardware, virtual machine backed up, and uh, so it is always going to be easy for repair, uh, easy for recovery. And also, uh, if you configure, if you are, uh, you have got on VM uh, some backup tools, so taking the backup of virtual machine is always going to be easy, and recovery is also going to be very easy for a virtual machine. However, if you do a physical machine backup and restore, it's uh, it's kind of hard thing to do. Uh, when there is an outage, you need to recover the physical machine. It's always going to be a uh, uh, you know tough portability again. Uh, so virtual machines, file, virtual machine basically it's a file. You can uh, either you use a VMware or uh, Hyper V. Uh, portability is very easy. You can machine uh, do the you know machine um, export machines from here and here to there, and you can play around the files and you can do the machines migration easily. Let's say if you have a Hyper-V1 server and you want to migrate some machine, virtual machine from Hyper-V1 to Hyper-V2, there is a lot of way you can do it. But if you're running on a physical machine, this is very hard to do. And mobility again, uh, so virtual machine can Hyper-V cluster enable powerful features such as live migration. And this is again uh, something you know related to you can say considering portability or mobility, but you can mach do the live migration of the virtual machines from one host to another, so, uh, one uh, Hyper V to another Hyper V to you know um, to <clears throat> uh, avoid any downtime if there is a uh, planned activities. And then again, uh, security additional security benefit of Hyper V virtual machines such as. Uh, if you want to implement a highly secure infrastructure, you can do the sealed shield virtual machine deployment with the uh, which provides a you know high level of encryption compatibility for the VM prevention from attack and all. So th those everything is available. So there are a lot of advantage out of this uh, for the hypervisors if you want to uh, do the you know deployment for your servers infrastructure in the virtualization environment. So a lot of companies I, I would show, uh, I would say more than 90% infrastructure uh, today, whatever running on, uh, you know, uh, this thing for enterprise organization, they are running on hypervisor and all the cloud infrastructure, uh, be it um, AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, everything is virtualized. So this is what, um, you know, uh, very scalable, very secure, and you get everything, whatever you want, related to, you know, cost optimization, disaster recovery backup, uh, portability of the machine, security, and everything. So requirement of Hyper-V, this is a simple, uh, you know, a Microsoft article, if you go and search for the requirement for Hyper-V, this is this, this the uh, uh, information which you are going to get from internet on the Microsoft website. So it's nothing fancy. You basically require a minimum four gig of memory, virtualization supported in BIOS. So so most of the latest hardware does support uh, virtualization. Just you need to go in BIOS and enable uh, enable from BIOS. So which is uh, either you should have an Intel uh, virtualization technology, which is Intel VT or AMD virtualization AMD. -D. So if you are using AMD processor, you need to go in BIOS, enable this. And if you are using Intel, you need to go and enable that. And then 
you have a DPM and all these things. If you want to enable, you can go ahead and enable these. And then uh, nothing fancy, you, you need 64 uh, bit processor and you know, 4 gig of memory. And if you have a machine, if you want to check, you can just run this command basically. Okay. Um, system config dot uh, system info dot exe and the bottom you will see this i'll show you how so if i go here system info dot exe hit enter so at the bottom you will see here uh, hyper v requirement so vm monitoring yes virtualization enabled in firmware yes second level of address translation yes and data execution prevention available yes you are all set to go and uh, uh, do the Hyper-V installation on this machine. So this is what we can do. So I know this is a basic uh, video introduction video of the Hyper-V. There are a lot of question maybe coming so in, in mind of you guys. So maybe we can discuss in more detail in next coming video. So you will get idea how to do what and all those things. So stay tuned. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.